Madam President, <clears throat> I associate myself uh, with the words of uh, Minister Kuleba of Ukraine and my colleagues from the European Union. Um, but I am amazed at the uh, tone and the content of the presentation by the uh, Russian ambassador. And I thought I could be useful by um, correcting the record. Uh, ambassador Nebendia has called um, Kiev the clients of the West. Actually, Kiev is fighting to be independent of anybody. He calls them a criminal Kiev regime. In fact, uh, Ukraine has a democratically elected uh, government. Um, he calls them Nazis. Well, the president is Jewish, the defense minister is Muslim, and they have no political prisoners. He said that Ukraine was wallowing in corruption. Well, uh, Alexei Navalny dem uh, documented uh, uh, how um, honest and full of probity uh, his own country is. Uh, he blamed the war on U.S. neocolonialism. In fact, it is Russia that tried to exterminate uh, Ukraine in the 19th century, again under the Bolsheviks, and it's the third attempt. He said that we are prisoners of Russophobia. Phobia means irrational fear. Yet, we are being um, threatened uh, almost every day by the former president of Russia and by um, Putin propagandists with nuclear annihilation. I put to you that it's not irrational. When Russia threatened, threatens us, we trust it. He said that we are denying Russia's uh, security interests. Not true. We've only started rearming ourselves when Russia started invading her neighbors. He even said that Poland attacked Russia during World War II. What is he talking about? It's the Soviet Union that attacked Poland uh, uh, together with Nazi Germany on the 17th of September 1939. They even held a joint victory parade on the 22nd of September. He says that Russia has always only beaten back aggression. What were Russian troops doing uh, at the gates of Warsaw in August 1920? They were on a topographical excursion? No, the truth is that uh, for every time that Russia has been invaded, she has invaded 10 times. He says that uh, this is a perfidious proxy war by the West. My advice is don't fall into the Western trap. Withdraw your troops to the international border and uh, avoid uh, this um, uh, Western plot. He also says that there was an illegal coup in uh, Ukraine, in Kiev, in 2014. Well, I was there. There was no coup. President Yanukovych murdered a hundred of uh, his compatriots, and he was removed from office by a democratically elected Ukrainian parliament, including his own party, the Party of Regions. And finally, he is saying that we, the West, are somehow trying to persuade that Russia can never be beaten. Well, Russia didn't win the Crimean War. It didn't win the Russo-Japanese War. It didn't win World War I. It didn't win the Battle of Warsaw. It didn't win in Afghanistan. And it didn't win the Cold War. But there is good news. After each failure, there were reforms. Such demagoguery is unworthy of a, a member um, on a permanent basis on, of the Security Council. But what the ambassador has achieved is to remind us why we resisted Soviet domination and what Ukraine is resisting now. They failed to subjugate us then, they'll fail to subjugate Ukraine and us now. Thank you very much.